I've just come out of a cave. This cave is found in the Western Cape. And the image I saw in that cave was of a colonial ship sailing towards the coast. This cave painting was painted by a nomadic hand, rendered with ink and materials from the soil of this earth. The nomadic hand belonged to the Bushman. And it's the Bushman and the cave paintings that have become my motivation and my inspiration for the art that I create on the walls of the street, of the gallery, of the museum, of the public space, the Bushman. And what these cave paintings depicted were the activities, desires, challenges, and rituals of their daily lives. <sighs> the hunt. <sighs> These paintings depicted the animalistic qualities when they used these guys to become the animal that they hunt. Today I'm taking you through a journey of drawing. I'm using four materials. My slideshow, today's drawing. One charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. One charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. Candle. Drawing here becomes a way to depict time, to take us through different phases of reality. I use drawing as a way to reflect aspects of our daily lives, to engage with aspects of our society, to break down certain physical barriers, mental barriers, emotional barriers. One of my favorite objects is the scandal, because it shows a Subtle evolution of time, of space, of light and dark. Another important history lesson. During apartheid, and during World War II, the South African government passed a law saying that if soldiers from the South African army volunteered to fight on the front, they were given a form of compensation. White soldiers that volunteered to fight in the war 
were given land. Soldiers of color were given bicycles. Compensation. What did I say? I said one charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. So one charcoal, two chalk, three oil grain, four spray paint. So the idea of humor in my work is very important. I like to play. I like to explore. It's a very interesting South African trait. We are very funny. We are very gestural people. Why are we? Because we use humor, we use play, we use gesture to destabilize a dominant discourse. We laugh in the face of terror. We use humor as a way to destabilize the dark forces. Humor and play allows us to overcome the obstacles that are placed before us in our daily lives. Gesture. It's part of the South African DNA. And I incorporate this into my work. I said one chalk, two charcoal, three oil crayon, four. What was it? It was one chalk, two charcoal, three oil crayon, four spray can. One chalk, two chalk, three, four chalk. Face him, face him. Do it, do it. So, 
have one charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. The wall is just a membrane. The wall is just. The wall is just a. It's just. It's just. It's just a surface. It's just. It's just a surface. And we can choose to go through. That's all that it is. It's just, it's just the surface. X. We have the symbol of an X. What we have here is a symbol of infinity. That's what we have. I said one charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. What? I said what? I said what? I said one charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. One charcoal, two, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. Go wheels. Go wheels, go wheels. What we have here is angle wire. Simple, basic hanger. And it's the subcultural languages of South Africa that can convert this angle wire, change the shape and alter the language, the meaning of this angle to something else. It's a language that can turn the ordinary into the sublime. Yes! 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 The card depicts a very interesting status symbol in society. 
the God who presents status, who presents class, who presents wealth. And I try and depict this as a simple drawing on this wall. My idea is to create an object and to create art where I'm able to expand the idea of the drawing field that I, as the artist, I'm not the only owner to this particular object, to this particular image, to this particular drawing, to this particular painting. Do you know why? Because I go one charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. The wall, as I see it, it's just a, it's just a facade. It's just, it's just a, it's just a facade. And I can go through it. I can step, I can step. I can zip into it. One charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint. Let me tell you another history lesson. I'm inspired by the Basques on the streets of France. Vive la France. And these Basques, what they do is, what they want is, they want the audience to participate for the audience to engage with the performative narrative. And these narratives can become anything. It's when they share their clothes. It's when they share their hat with the audience. And this has become my inspiration for my performance pieces. I'm all about sharing. Why? Because I go one Charcoal, two chalk, three oil crayon, four. You guys are fucking so quiet. So quiet. Shadow me. This is not called the Cape of Storms for nothing. And in the Cape of Storms, as a child, what you want to do is you walk barefoot in the rain. Heads up, that's all I'm saying. Heads up in the rain. So we need storms. Four, four, four. They say cats and dogs. Talk barefoot in the rain. Because one, two, chalk, three oil crayon, four spray paint, one chalk. Two charcoal, three oil crayon, four spray paint. <laughs> 